Hi everyone, welcome to Water Tanks with Stewie JP. I'm Stewie, you're not, and unless you've been living on the other side of the planet, push the wrong button there. If that's okay, we're live. Update 116 is here, that's right, this is what the website looks like. Update 116 dropped just yesterday, and this is coming out on Wednesday. Just yesterday, Update 116 came up and one of the and the big thing about update 116 was battle pass 2022 season 7 is, is is live and on the run we're going to go through that in this video thanks for the follow van kizzle you're a legend we are recording this one live on twitch it's going to be out on youtube tomorrow for those watching it live and it's going to be pretty good i love battle pass i think it's great you get stuff for free and some stuff you can pay for we're going to go through that in this video and um most of the information is in the garage. You don't have to look at websites. Most of the information is in the garage. So we're going to light it up and have a look at the garage and see what we're going to get out of Battle Pass Season 7. When you get to the garage, you might see this big bright plus thing right at the top just below the battle button battle button might be normally red but that's all right click on that and it get takes you to the battle pass screen there's a lot of information uh there's websites out there with information but all, everything you need to know you'll be in this video but it'll also be in your garage click on here about battle pass on the top left side of the screen there's a video which is quite informative that's a, it's a good little story about there the new battle pass progression system new section of the stores with battle pass points tokens and all the stuff that you can get for free basically battle pass is a season a series of points that you get by playing random battle battles and other game modes and uh, you get those points those points add up and unlock more stages more stages give you more stuff there's also an improved pass which you can buy for money or for gold which gives you more stuff we like stuff in basic random battles if you win and you're top three by xp you get seven points if you <coughs> if you don't win and you're top three you get five points. Top ten gives five for a win, three for a defeat or a draw. Rank battles is quite similar. In fact, it's exactly the same. Addition, additional battle pass points for daily missions. You get uh, our daily missions that you get. Not the premium missions, the normal four daily missions that you get every day. Uh, they give uh, 10, 15, 20 and 25 battle pass points when you complete those. And every vehicle t has a limit and the limit is limited by tier. Obviously the daily missions don't have a limit by tier but the, the points you get for winning or for losing or for doing well is li limited by tier. <coughs> tier 6 is limited to 100 points. Um, 250 for tier 7 and so on. Goes up to 1,000 for the core, core vehicles which are all tier 10. And those core vehicles are the three core vehicles that are <laughs> the three core vehicles that are uh, that we're going to go through later. It's because you pick which stage corresponds to which vehicle. It's a Leopard, the Crown Wagon, and the T110E4, the American Tank Destroyer. Every vehicle also has an indicator on the panel, and that um, tells you how you're going for the points. They're the tanks, the Leopard, the E4, and the Cranny. Those three vehicles also get bonus points in their random battles. There's new mechanics here about you, you, you select a chapter with the rewards that you prefer. Some of those rewards, um, <laughs> some of those rewards are going to go, going to be um, straight to the pool room. Some of those rewards are going to be uh, nation specific, depending on the tank, which is, which is associated with that chapter. Uh, through levels one to fifty, there are fifty chapters for each um, each level. Three levels, one hundred and fifty chapters, or all up from state. Sorry, three chapters, fifty stages in each chapter. So it's one hundred and fifty stages all up. That'll be relevant a little bit later when we're talking about cost of buying these uh, different rewards. Battle pass points, post progression. You get these little badges and kind of stuff, and it lets you know. You can also, unlike in the in the last battle pass, you 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 pick a tank or a chapter that you want to work on you can't pause that uh, and change now you can if you're halfway through a specific line you want to stop and go back to the other one because the other one's rewards might be more appealing or for whatever other reason you might you might have uh, you can do that and you might say say you might want the leopard skin um, but you're doing the e4 one you might think oh, I'm not gonna have enough time you can go back there you won't lose that progression that you had on the e4 if that makes sense um, you also accumulate battle pass points, which we're going to have a look at the battle pass points shop very, very soon, where you can buy more stuff for free, as well as every stage 
giving you something for nothing. It gives you something for free. Also something that you can um, get by having the improved pass, which costs 2,500 gold per chapter, if memory serves me correct, <laughs> correctly. Coughing fits give plenty of bonuses as well. Rewards, and this screens, the screen looks a lot neater too. If you've gone a fair way through without redeeming, it, it's, it's, a, it's quite a, a better... Um, layout of looking for what you can pick you can you can just select from you know equipment improved equipment the crew books the blue fragments normal equipment whatever you like scrolling down now this is from that that first uh section that we clicked on from the battle pass area items for points these are for battle pass points so you can claim um at a store at the end after you finish your three things you can still look at it now in your garage but after you finish the three chapters you can uh, access that and that's crew members um, tank skins and also bonds items for tokens a battle pass tokens that hasn't changed you get tokens throughout each chapter and you can exchange those tokens for two brand new tanks the old tanks that we've seen before like the uh, the char the object 777 the AE phase one whatever you like those prices have all been reduced the two new tanks are the Cobra and the Lorraine 50T they're a little bit more expensive because they're brand new. You also get the progressive styles from the specific uh, tanks. Why why am I gross bus? Thanks for the raid, man. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Welcome. We're recording <laughs> we're recording a video live on Twitch for YouTube for tomorrow. And uh, you need crew members, you get three crew members, and there's also a bounty turbocharger, which is the new piece of equipment for season seven and uh, the main rewards for completion. Credits up to 6 million, up to 69 days of premium time, th up to three bounty pieces of bounty equipment, six standard equipment, 4,350 bonds plus more. We'll get to that later. Um, battle pass tokens, which can also be exchanged for bonds. That, those 21 tokens, if you want to, you can exchange them for 2,100 bonds. Welcome, everyone, for why am I, from Why Am I Grocer's Stream. Really appreciate you being here. Um, I'll acknowledge you very shortly. We're just recording a video um, live for YouTube. Some training manuals, personal reserves, fragments, and all that kind of stuff. Savings when purchasing three chapters. If you're, if you're spending real money, it is cheaper to buy all three than one. But bear in mind, if you don't make your way through all those stages, there'll, there'll be things that you're going to miss out on. If you can also buy it for gold, uh, with 2500 per chapter, and 250 for um, if you want to skip different stages. Uh, more more rewards, styles. Styles are all there and there's some information on this page as well about um, the three different chapters. Only Dust for the Leopard, Shattered Windows for the American tank, the E4, and Dawn Over Ruins for the Swedish tank, which is the Crown Wagon. At this point, there's How to Earn Points. This is another, this is another got more information about random battles. Uh, there's also rank battles, which is exactly the same. Seven points for a win if you're in the top three. Five if it's a defeat or a draw. Five and three if it's uh, if you're in the top seven rather than top three. It's top ten in randoms, top seven in ranked. And that the core vehicles there, those tanks get um, bonus points. So in the um, random battles, the Crown Wagon gets two extra bonus points for the top five. The E4 gets three extra for the top three. And the Leopard gets one extra for top ten. So they all get bonus points for doing well, but um, just different amounts for uh, different... <coughs> sizes if you like top three five and ten reward for point limit um when you when you reach the limit to the point limit when you reach the limit to the of the point limit you'll get um bonus points but you won't be able to get more um points from that vehicle um daily missions are the same as mentioned earlier um ranked is the same there's a reward for the point limit. There's also front lines as well. Of course, that doesn't matter what tank you play because you're playing different tanks in front lines. And if you win, if in top five, it's 25 points. Uh, if you lose and top five, it's 10. And if it's uh, top 20, you get 10 and five points, respectively. Let's get back in there and have a bit of a closer look at it. Um, you can, I'll pick, we'll pick one now. We'll pick the Leopard. We said we we're going to do that. So all you need to do is to click on that bad boy. Select it, activate chapter by clicking down the bottom, and we've acti ac activated the Leopard set of rewards. Click affirmative and got the rewards. And there's the option there to purchase improved pass. We're going to purchase it with gold. Um, 
you can see there it's two and a half that two two thousand five hundred gold per chapter so a total of seventy five hundred and you can buy the three in one uh, which if you're buying gold for cash this is probably a little bit cheaper those options you can see in the um, premium shop which we'll also have a look at very shortly so we've got the improved past and because we've already played some random battles today we've, all, we've already completed stage one and we're halfway through stage two which is pretty good. Another option is to purchase stages, and you can see there, they're 250 per stage. But bear in mind, if you've already started a stage, it still costs the same. Going back now to the shops, items for tokens and items for bonus points. Items for tokens, when you open it up, these are these are the main prizes. The main prizes are the tanks, the Cobra and the Lorraine. Now the Cobra, you can see the co the co top Cobra, you won't be able to get enough points in the first season. The most points, even with all improved passes, the most points you can get is 21 and the Cobra is going to cost 24. So nobody can get the Cobra before the end of the first chapter. The Lorraine, on the other hand, is a little bit cheaper. The Lorraine 50 tonner is 18 points and uh, that's available today there are people out there today by buying those those stages which is that's people's prerogative some people want to be the first to try a tank and i can't i can't say i blame them as well as that there are other tanks the char the kunzi panzer carefully to say that the k91 the object triple seven and the ae phase one these are all tanks from previous battle passes which are still available but for less cost items for points you accumulate points as you go along points per the 50 points per stage all those points add up and you can you can see i've already got 80 here from playing a few random battles today you can buy all the old styles or some of the old styles that used to be part of battle pass from previous seasons crew members and also bundles of bonds i want to touch on bonds just for a brief minute you can use you get if you finish all the stages you'll get 7500 bonds so for 100 bonds, it's 1,000 points. 200 bonds is 2,000. 300 bonds is 3,000 points. Now, I've tried on my test account um, because I'll be driving my test account tomorrow with my old mate Ziggy or t tonight when this comes out on YouTube uh, with my old mate Ziggy on the World of Tanks ANZ channel, uh, the Lorraine 50T. And once, once you've unlocked, you can purchase these multiple times. So however many points you get, if you've got 7,000 points, you can purchase 700 bonds with it. If you get less, then obviously you can get less. Uh, flicking back to the website now, where's that button? I think it's that one. This is this is this is the website with the styles on it. That's the leopard style, which I think looks pretty cool. That's the E4, which also looks pretty cool. And there's if you hover over it, this is an interactive, um, an interactive picture. There'll be a link to all this uh, in the description down below. And that's the crown wagon one. Season rewards. This is a list of all the different rewards you can get. Base rewards and of course improved rewards and those tokens that we talked about earlier there's the cobra and there's also the lorraine 50t uh, extra rewards when you get to um once you've completed all three you'll have access to a new reward section of the game which is where we saw those battle pass points items the bonds the crew members the crew members have all got three skills one being brothers in arms and the other one uh, was the previous styles how to get the improved pass we've covered and um, there's also a battle pass guide one thing I would like to point out, and this is something they haven't done before, and I probably shouldn't have saved this to last, but but maybe I should have. There's another option that you can do. Battle Pass reinforcements. It costs you $13.60 if you're in Australia. New Zealand, I'm not sure how the New Zealand dollar is compared to the Australian dollar, but $13.60 Australian. This gives you another series of missions, and we've got the picture here of the missions. Five more missions for $13.60. First mission is to win a game. You get more battle pass points. You get more, um, we'll show you what you get from all these missions. First one's just to win a game, pretty easy. Second one is to, is to earn 2,000 base experience over any amount of games. The third one is to do 10,000 hit points of damage. 10 kills is the fourth one and be top 10 20 times in the fifth mission. They reward more bonds and they also reward battle pass points uh, that you can redeem in that battle pass point shop. Now, I crunched the numbers earlier. You can get 7,000, you can get well over 7,000 bonds. I think it's uh, 7,750 bonds. I could be out. That's the absolute most amount of bonds you can get. Um, 
That's the absolute most. <laughs> That's very low and special, and you are someone special, mate. Thank you very much. No, it's not. Well, it is. It is uh, possible to get more than one tier nine of the older ones because they're cheaper. The newer ones cost a little bit more or a little bit less of the amount of battle pass points, uh, battle pass tokens that you would get in one season. Um, so the total bonds is about seven and a half thousand bonds. I think it's I think it's a bit higher. I think it's seven seven fifty is the total amount of bonds that you can get from passing through all the levels using your improved pass and obviously the standard ones. Um, and by buying through all those levels, at the moment there's an auction on for the most coveted tier ten tank that I've ever heard of in the nine or ten years that I've been playing World of Tanks. The Chieftain, the T95 FE4201 Chieftain, is at the moment up for auction. My concern is that some people who might be running a little bit low on bonds or might think they're running a little bit low on bonds might be tempted to spend 3750 sorry, 37500 gold to buy up all of those levels. It's a little bit grubby from my point of view. It's a, it just doesn't sit right. I know Wargaming have been doing this for some time, um, allowing people to buy uh, pr progression through these stages, but they've never done it halfway through an auction, a bond auction, for the most coveted tank in water tanks. I don't know. Let me know in the comments down below how it sits with you. I'm not... I'm, it just doesn't sit right with me. This Battle Pass reinforcement, this is the last part of the video. Don't worry, we're going to wind up soon. We've already gone for longer than I thought we would. Um, $13.60, you get access to those five missions, which give you up to 1,000 more battle, point, battle Pass points, which is bonds, 500 bonds, three training books, universal manuals, personal training manuals, and a new crew member, Alex Sokolivsky. I don't know who he is, but I'm sure he's pretty cool. He looks pretty cool. Tell me what you think. Do you... I love Battle Pass. I think it's a fantastic thing. I reckon it's a really cool thing to have in a game. You can get stuff for free. And if you want to pay gold, you can get a little bit more stuff for free. We probably should have a look at the tanks. We'll have a look at the tanks in the garage because that's that's um, that's how we that's how we run a roll. Going forward, this is this is the Cobra. Now the Cobra you can't get in this first season because you can see the price there is 24 bonds. Uh, 24 battle pass tokens the most battle pass tokens you can get um, in one season is 21 even with the um, improved pass it's a is it a three shot auto loader i think it might be i'm not sure it's an auto loader it's a four shot auto loader um, it's a medium tank it looks pretty cool i'm looking forward to testing it can't get it this season uh, the only tank the only new tank you can get this season which is 18 points of course the most points you can get is 21 uh, in this first season of Battle Pass is the Lorraine 50 ton, which is a uh, very, very similar to the Tier 9 uh, French heavy tank, uh, the newer one, the, the AMX, not the 5120, the other one, the one with armor. <laughs> it's 100, 120, mil, 120 millimeter gun, plays like a heavy tank, looks pretty cool. I'll be playing this, this uh, tank with my old mate Ziggy on uh, World of Tanks ANZ. Hopefully this guide has been a little bit helpful. What do you think? Do you like Battle Pass? Do you love it or do you hate it? I like the concept. I think it's fantastic. Anything which gives you, me, and any, any of my friends free stuff, whether it's the style, whether it's um, crew books, uh, bonuses, personal reserves, premium time, credits, all that kind of stuff. I reckon it's pretty cool. Garage slots. Garage slots are fantastic. And um, the new style, new style, I reckon that leopard is going to look pretty cool in that new style. I love it. I think Battle Pass is fantastic. It just doesn't sit well with me having the option to buy bonds for real money and for gold um, at the time when a really competitive, highly sought after tank is being auctioned off until the 10th of March. That's the only thing that doesn't sit well with me. They've never done it before. They, I realise that you can earn slash buy bonds during the Battle Pass season, but that's not... You can do that throughout the year and take your time to do it. There's a short amount of time where people might feel the pressure to spend their money to buy these bonds, to participate in the auction. I just don't know if it sits with me. You let me know in the comments down below. I think it's a bit dirty, a bit grubby, as one of my friends would say. 
Or am I overreacting? Am I being silly? I'm not too sure. Let me know in the comments. This video has gone for nearly 20 minutes. I think that's long enough. Any more questions about Battle Pass, please feel free to ask me. We're streaming on Twitch. We're on Facebook, YouTube, Discord, everything. Link's all down below. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and see you all next time. Mm -hmm.